Shopify down theme navigation tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can add some elements and some items to the navigation menus into your Shopify store. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to Shopify.com. Once you are here, you're going simply to sign in into your account. Now, as you can see, we have already signed in into the account and we have the admin dashboard. Now, once you are here, you're going to search for the sales channels as it you can see here and click on it. And then we have a menu. We have the theme. So we are going to set it up for the DOM theme and we are going to see here or search through it until we see the navigation. As you can see, we have the blog posts, pages, and navigation. The navigation and the pages and also the blog posts are related together. Why? Because when you create a page, you can link it into an element or an item within the navigation. And for the blog post, if you have already created a blog post, you are going to link it to a page and vice versa. This page is going to be set into the navigation. Now, as you can see here in the navigation, we have some menus. We have the menu or the footer menu and also the main menu. So if you want to check these menus into your theme, you're going to visit your store and you can go ahead and see the main menu, which is here at the top of the header and the footer menu, which going to be right here at the end of your store. So now let's go back to our store again and see what do we have on the main menu. We have say the home, the catalog, the contact and the blog. If you click on the main menu, you're going to see here all the items uh, that are mentioned. So you can add some menu items or you can let these as they are and create your own menu. So we are going to create a menu for us. Click on add menu. And as you can see here, we are going to give it a title. For this one, we are going to set it as, uh, let's say here, Jack's test menu. And for the menu items, we don't have any. So we are going to add some menu items. If you want to add a menu item, you're going to name it and search or paste a link that will conduct to that specific item. For example, we are going to create our first thing, which is the home page. We are going to name it home, search on the uh, bar right there and set it as home page. We're going to click on add and boom, this is the first thing. Now let's go ahead and add more elements. We can go ahead and add some other menu items by searching right there and seeing if we have something. So we are going to set up here, for example, collection, and then we're going to link it into the collections. So now we're going to set it for all collections, or we can go ahead and leave it empty by setting up here a hashtag, for example, like that hashtag. When you set it for hashtag, it will conduct to nothing. So we are going to click on add boom. Now we are going to add another item, which is going to be right there. Let's say here blog, for example, and then we're going to set up this for blogs. Now we are going to add right there and then we are going to set it to blogs. We are going to set it as hashtag right there. And we are going to set it like this. Now we are going to add maybe another item uh, here. Put it like policies for the privacy policy. We are going to name it like this. Click on add. Boom. Now let's go ahead and add some sub menus and how we can do that. The first thing is to set up or add a menu item. We're going to name it like man uh, here or men. We uh, refer that to the clothing on the collection and we are going to set it as hashtag. 
click on that then we are going to set woman and also hashtag like this so copy it all and now kids hashtag also redirect to nothing add boom now go ahead and drag them into the collection as submenu you're going to head it over drag it a little bit uh, left or right also for the women and finally the kids let's add some different uh, items like uh, pants hashtag we're going to link it to hashtag add now we are going to add pants also hashtag here for the link boom now this one is for the men and the second one is for women uh we're going to set top for kids also link it to hashtag which will redirect to nothing top for kids and here we have created a menu sub menu and a sub sub menu for shopify we're going to click on save now we are going to see it live into the store how we can do that we're going to open up the theme click on customize boom here we have it now this is the old menu so we are going to click on header change the main menu click on change change menu choose your menu which is this one jack's test menu now here we have it i am going to see the collection which is a mega menu so here I have created a mega menu. We're going to click on a drop down, which will be much simpler. For a drawer, we're going to see it like this. This is a hamburger menu. Now I will let it as mega menu. See that? Boom. Right away. Now, if you want to change the uh, menu type, go ahead and click on a desktop menu type options choose one of them we have this is a much simpler um, mega menu so we can go ahead and add some more elements to it uh, in order to make it a little bit better so we are going to head over the navigation now we are going simply to set up jack's test menu add more elements for example shirt hashtag here uh, in order to make everything uh, right you don't have to set it as hashtag only the tags or the uh, sub tags or right there such as men and women should be uh, made as tags or hashtags because the parents should be right there connected into a product for example we're going to set it into a product and for the pants or right there you can go ahead and set it for a collection you're going to create a collection add the name as pants and then you're going to set it. For example, you are going to give it like this sample. Apply changes, boom. Now, let's go ahead and add some menu items. Like here, we're going to add simply, let's say we have pants, we have shirts, shirts. Then we are going to uh, link them right there. Uh, go ahead and set here uh, the collection not the product themselves so i'm going to stick with the hashtag and we are not going to link it let us go with this for the women and that shirt for men so we are okay with that going to drag it for men Boom. 
uh, for the kids you can go ahead and add more so this is how we can create a menu so we are going right there to the uh, shopify theme editor and now we are going to click on customize again and you are going to see the type of the uh, as you can see uh, the header we're going to select header now we are going to change the menu to our test one let's click on select boom this is the mega menu we have added some elements you can go ahead and fill it up until the end and it will be very amazing and such a professional one if you want to add some images right there to this specific area of the mega menu you need to set it or also for drawer you need an app so we are going to leave that page and then we are going to click at the uh, top bar of the searching and set up mega menu click on uh, search on shopify app store and you are going to see the lots of and lots of uh, apps and integrations that will help you create a mega venue and also navigations so this for this one which is the most simplified one on shopify it will you uh, it will let you set up a menu and that menu the navigation through it is going to be much simpler so the customization could be a drawer a mega menu without image also a simple one so you can go ahead and get the help of the mega menu apps or navigation apps from Shopify App Store and help yourself and get more, uh, let's say, a more attractive ones like the Quickify mega menus and navigation. You're going to see it. It has a free plan available and also a free trial. And this is the mega menu, how it will look. So it looks like this uh, with the image. And as you can see, the organization of the tabs, the uh, menus and the sub menus right there, everything is going to be uh, perfect. This is not the only app, but we are going to see also this one, Meteor. I have installed already this one and saw that they have some very, very good or variants in the menu. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.